Hi there, I'm Coach Todd, head coach of NolanMinutesTriathlon.com. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to set up your Compu Trainer to Zwift. Last night before going to bed, I thought, you know what, a few of my athletes are talking about Zwift, and I have not yet tried to get on board and see what it's all about. So last night before going to bed, I thought, how hard could it be? Let's set up the Compu Trainer and Zwift. And it took me a little bit longer than I expected. And so hopefully this video is going to make it uh, easier. If you have a Compu Trainer, and you get stuck on a step, maybe this will help you, okay? The idea is you need to connect the Compu Trainer. I just have it on a pump here. And you need to connect it to your computer, and then it's going to connect to the, the Zwift app, app on your computer. There's uh, one step that I had trouble with. They said this is all Compu Trainer because there's no and plus signal from the trainer, you have to do it all through a USB and you need to have a FTDI USB to stereo adapter and this is a picture of it right here. I look at that picture and I go, I don't think I have that anymore but I wasn't quite sure. I My situation is slightly different, it's going to be the same as you but slightly different because I used to have CompuTrainer class in my basement. We used to have like six trainers down here and I used to do it all through this hub and it's a Sewell USB to 8 port serial converter. Okay, so I'd have everything running through this. So I didn't have that little guy, I, I got kind of worried. And then uh, I'm doing it, the other problem I had was I, was I was doing it on my new computer, not the old computer. The old computer is where I was currently running computer, it's all working, it's all fine. But to put it Zwift on this new computer, it just made, I had a bit of a brain fart. So things weren't working very well. And all you need to do is this. If you are running a Compu Trainer on your computer already, then there's, you know, you must have that adapter. You must have it. So all you have to do is take that, plug it into your new computer, and then your computer, when you have Zwift on, you can search for the Compu Trainer. It's going to find it. Come here, I'll show what I mean. Before I do that, though, I'm going to take this uh, USB end that's plugged into the adapter here. Right, and this is the stereo cord. The skinny cord, here I'll take it out. The skinny cord, that's a stereo cord, and I just plugged into my adapter down here. And then that is plugged into the skinny end, right? They're both skinny, but that goes into the far right hole underneath uh, this controller, and you plug it in. In the middle one, I have the, the puck, the cadence puck, which is pretty cool. I have that on the bottom. So I'm going to take this USB end from the adapter, plug it into my computer. Now let's go into the computer. Oh, there's one more thing too. Um, I went to setting up a Compu Trainer here in Zwift. And when you click this link, it has a description by Jason K. Thank you, Jason K, for doing this. Um, it says you do not need an AND plus dongle, which is good because I don't have one. But you need to download the appropriate Compu Trainer driver for your computer. So I have a Windows. I clicked A and it downloaded it. When, I, when it downloaded and I and opened it up, it had an error. I thought, well, I don't know what that means. It says elevation was required. And I didn't worry much about it. And I just plugged everything in and see if it would work. So I went back to Zwift. Download the game. Oh! <laughs> I think I figured it out. You don't go to Zwift.com to ride this thing. Because I'm so brand new. I spent two minutes. I spent about five minutes trying to start this thing. You don't go to Zwift.com. You need to go to this app here on your computer. And then double click that. This is all a brand new learning process for me. I apologize for being so slow for this video. I apologize for this video being long, but I'm learning. While I'm waiting for my app to work on, the, to uh, start on the computer, I'm going to show you what this adapter looks like. An FTDI USB to stereo adapter. Looks like this, right? And then this end looks like that, okay? So this is the adapter that you're, you're using, or you need to connect to, to use Zwift. And Compu Trainer is no longer making Compu Trainers out of business, right? So I don't believe you can get these guys anymore, but if you really want to ride with Zwift, 
what you can do is you can get one of these guys. I just did a quick search on Amazon, and you can get one of these guys, and it's S E W E L L. See, well, it's a USB to eight port serial converter. That'll work too. Okay, so now we're going to go to controllable trainer, and I'm going to hit search. And CompuTrainer is there. I'm going to go OK. I tried to select just using the trainer, but that wasn't enough for Zwift, so I had to go up to the power source. And when I had both of them selected, then it worked. And then go OK. And just to show you that it does work, I'm going to do a little bit of a easy spin. Very easy spin. Yes, I know I'm in jeans, but that's OK. Let's see if this is going to work. And there I go. I'm ready to join the race. Been taken out by a few riders, though. So that's it. Hopefully this video helps you if you're having some troubles setting up your CompuTrainer and Zwift. You need one of these adapters, right? Just plug it into your computer. If you can't find one of these guys, get one of these Sewell adapters or converters. And then you'll be on your way to ride. Hope this helps. Coach Todd saying thank you very much and happy training. See you later.